Last time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Ah, ah, I checked my dog. Where's my attorney? Stop, stop staring at me. No, I'm not going to. You with your objections, you your evidence. This is who you think you are? An attorney or something? A lawyer? Boy, am I nervous. And now, back to the show. Hey everyone, it's Vendillion1998 here again, and I am back for more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Now this is my second attempt, to, well, probably my third, actually, third or fourth of doing this. Last time I tried this, it worked okay, but then Audacity stopped working within 45 minutes of the thing, so I gotta pay attention to this time. I recorded a two hour session yesterday to, to test this out, so hopefully, I think it works okay. So, all right, got my caffeine because it's 1:40 a.m. right now where I'm at. I think Snick and Brandon are streaming right now, but I got to record this episode. I've been putting it off too long. So, all right, let's do this. Day one investigation: Turnabout Sisters. Bring, bring. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia? What's up? You haven't called in a while, and that's loud. <laughs> Very loud. My girl voice is back again. Sorry, I've been busy. How you been? Well, lonely, and it's your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to, to have my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. They sound the same almost. Wow, God. I have no flexibility in my voices. There's a lot of buzz. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what's it? What's it this time? It's a it's a clock, a clock. Yeah, it's made to look like that statue of the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers in it. I, said, I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Mm, well. Mm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office at 8, 9 o'clock and pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I can really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Ma Maya. Maya. Beep. 
conversation recorded September 5th, 927 a.m. Da, da, da. September 5th, 8.47 p.m. Faye and Co. Law Office. Wow, that hurt. I think I did. Well, I, get, I really need to find a girl, do girl voices for this. Because my voice range is so not there. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho, ho, ho. I am Santa Claus. You are not configurous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. Uh, I should have been more careful. Ho, 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 green giant. My dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry, but I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. <laughs> eh? Red, white, blue. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Fanko Law Offices. Whew. Uh-oh. I'm late. Huh? That's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over, so... We should go all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office? That smell. Blood. Someone, someone's there. Huh? Chief? Chief? Chief! Who are you? The strange girl dropped out, out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder, shoulders. Then all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Chief. The 
It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again! Chief! It's hard seeing her like this, but if there's any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. Probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. Hmm. Some glass shards lay near the chief bo chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards added to the court record. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper? It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Hmm? A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Receipt added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that that girl girl was doing here. Right, I better call the police. Huh? That's funny. A few, the, a few of the screws in the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Please! Please! Come quickly! What? What was that? Someone's screaming from outside the window. Huh? She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Use it. Hmm? That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there, on that sofa. Uh oh. Hope she didn't run out on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that, okay? Um, excuse me, but who are you? Me! It's okay, I work here. Maya! Maya Faye! Maya? Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there would be use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Huh? That's... That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? 
please, just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. The police? It looks like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! <sighs> oh boy. Ah, I'm Detective Gum. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. See? You see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the bullying across the way. See? Got a person saying they saw a murder. See? It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I see. I don't want. I don't either. Either of you moving at one inch, okay? Great. Just great. My Maya, wait, she wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa, whoa. Excuse me, excuse me. Eek. This word, this word Maya here, mean anything to you? Um, that's, um, that's, that's my name. What? Ugh. I can't do a good hillbilly voice very well. It's not yet in practice with that. The victim drew this hair and none of her own blood. See? You see? Their dying breaths, she wrote down the killer's name. K killing? I'm not. Case closed, you're coming down to the priesting, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken for questioning but, and, and then get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I, can, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for our visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9.07 a.m., detention center, the visitor's room. Wow, they have poor, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. How did you, the lawyer, get, 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 morning, good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you gonna be my attorney? Well, well, that's what I want to talk to you about. It's up to you. Of course I will. Sorry, not a chance. It's up to you. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. thought. It's okay. I understand. Meep. And I also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. 
Honestly, I was on the edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! Ah, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. Only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh? Sounds like it was fun. Well, well, I know who I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Just give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. <laughs> That's what she said. Huh? Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. No, no, it's okay. It's true. I guess. We're gonna put it that way. Oh, at the same time, I can't sit. I can't just sit and watch. I think of the person who did this to Mia. Meep. I know. There's something I was wanting to ask you. Yes. What's with that outfit? Oh, this. This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. A acolyte, like people who go to this training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. Uh, as a spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte or, or medium in training? That's right. The Fae family, especially the women, ha have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Fey family? So Mia was into that, this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. hmm. Wait. 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 What? So you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes! In training! Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. Me! training I couldn't do something like that on that level hmm I thought that would be too easy Did you tell me about the day of the murder yes let's see that morning I got a call from my sister She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yeah. Yes! That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? I'm right. She said something about that. Conversation is on her, my cell phone. You 
record it? Yeah! I forgot how to delete those things! So, you say you have a conversation with, with, with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it! Right! Oh! I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry! Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget. Okay? Uh, sure. Thanks. Mia's memo added to the court records. Beep. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? Um. So this is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Huh. Say, what about your parents? Meep. 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 Uh, uh, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Tomorrow? Tomorrow! What, 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 what if this guy refuses? They told me if I don't sign one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. But, when will that happen? They're giving me, they're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. And this is almost up. I better hurry. Right. I'll be back. Uh, did I already... Uh, trials. Mia Fey, age 27, gender female. Chief at Fey, my boss and a very good defense attorney. Maya Faye, age 17, gender female. Defendant, Maya's little sister and the spirit medium in training. Dick Gumshoe, age 30, male. Detective at the local precinct in charge of initial investigation. September 6, Grossberg Law Offices. According to receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It'd be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. I still have to come back later. Let's see what this is first.
That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. That oil painting is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either for that matter. So this is looking uh, expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled ex with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny they don't look like they've ever been read. Solid mahogany desk. Flip and polish to a deep luster. Oh, let's, let's check the law offices. September 6th, Vanco Law Offices. Office full of police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, 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 you, you there! This is a crime scene, pal? No trespassing? Sai, si, I know you from somewhere. Uh, let's, let's not get, get that better accent later on. Wait! Wait, you're that butt scot, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How can we, anyone mistake me for Larry? I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That's but Sky. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? Uh, he was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were Detective Gumshoe, Detective Gumtree, Detective Gumtree. Detective Gumshoe. Um, Gumtree, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe. Right, at your service. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's Detective Gums to you, pal. You see? Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hi, hey, Dick, get over here. <laughs> yes, sir? Be right there. Um, uh, 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 um. You're her, you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you've got business here, you better go, better do it quick. Phew, he thinks I'm Maya's, Maya's, Maya's lawyer. Talk. About Miss, about Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You, you want to know the results, eh? Now don't go look up, now, now don't you go look at me like that, pal. It's no use. See, it might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the reports, but that's all. <laughs> I'll test the report as in the court record. Um, about May, um, <laughs> Maya. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial, pal. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you you aren't gonna win. Why, why, why do you say that? The city, the city put the prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution, pal. Edgeworth. I'm sure you, I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his... Guilty verdict. Ah, uh, don't go talk about him, about him like that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. 
So, Edgeworth is on this. It's on this one. Hmm. Isn't lost the case since he became prosecutor. At an incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know is for sure that is it, that Edgeworth hates crime with almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. that pal sorry pal but I got no info the likes of you a conversation present. I was wondering did you see Maya's Maya face cell phone oh, oh, oh that I have that do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. So straight. Uh, okay, I, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something to matter? Uh oh, no. Um. That carrying strap on the cell phone. This um it says the still it says the still samurai warrior of Neo Tokyo. The, the still samurai that action hero on TV. Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She she's worried my it might get lost if it went down the priest stink. That's what she said. Um, yes. Hmm. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. It's like he didn't record it. He knows to record a conversation. Gave my cell phone. The records are here to record a conversation. I guess I'll dive past all the questions I need to ask to. You all done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be headed out now. Oh, oh, wait. One thing I wanted to mention to you, pal. I don't suppose you were like, talking, plan on talking to that witness, pal. Anyway, bear not, pal. No influencing the witness on your your your, your, your lawyerly ways, pal. Hmm. Come to think of it, I had forgotten all about that about her, that big big boot girl. The witness? Yep, yeah, pal. Miss, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, pal. But I can't go tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already then? Aha! You're trying to lower your voice on me now, pal. She's not to go outside her room until the trial, pal. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. Interesting. I guess I should know better than try to get a detective to leak information. Get that, right, get that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Gatewater Hotel, September 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Oh, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't ya? Detective told me. He said, 
still said nothing to that lawyer, pal. Hee <laughs> hee. Memo to sell. Thanks, Dr. Gumshoe, for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something. This looks like something out of a movie. I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, I'm gonna freshen up so I can look at the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer has across it. I pity the lawyer has across the camera that one. Screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, what are you doing? No touch, no touching. I'm a kitty cat. Meow. Ooh, bad boy. You should really sent go. You sent pie around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make, make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what would be inside the drawer. Mm, like Mr. Grossberg is out. Maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> if that wasn't the most over the top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. <laughs> so you're the one they've say been looking for me, huh? Um uh yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm that badge in your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? I say, I say, y y y yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not, bu not busy? Then how come no one can get in touch with you? Hmm? Something that matter? Can you see the, you see, you can see the, one and only Marvin Grossberg. Did you not? Grossberg. Uh, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out of it. Uh, um, well, well, sir, actually, it's about my, my affair. Hmm. Uh, uh, yes, my affair. Go on. Huh. Why the strange reaction? Cha -cha 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 -cha. Uh, I'm really quite busy here, son. I, I can't go taking on a day's notice. Cases on a day's notice. No, 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 it's quite impossible. Wait, wait a second. How do you know about the trials tomorrow? Er, er, um. In, in, anyway, anyway, uh, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, in a discussion. What's going on? He refused before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me. Why will you take the case? Uh, um, uh, uh, well, you see, it's just, I'm busy. You're busy, you see. The client, the client is Mia, Mia Faye's sister. Uh, um. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Y y yes, of course, I, I know that. H however, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. You're the, you're the weakest link. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. I'll have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look, look elsewhere. Think not, huh? Did you say something? I think not. I said. 
What do you mean? I'm terribly sorry. I'm ter 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 terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon? Can you leave now? You, I, I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Faye? Um, she, she worked here a long time ago. Like the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You see in her eyes. She followed with a burning passion, never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Ah, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color, the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of that straw hat, the weave of that straw hat, I mean. It's worth, a, it's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. Is that for sale? I'm not buying! Jeez. September 6th, 3.42 p.m. It's this incident in the room. Uh, hiya! Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Uh, uh, um, well, what do I tell her? Well, let's see. Let's be honest. I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> back. Oh. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Mm. My eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began rolling down her cheek. Cause single blunt blunt force drama death is instantaneous. Sorry, I never seen that before. Oh. Really crying. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know that must be hard. Sorry, I know that must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing for the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to the piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. 
of the thing your clock that Larry made. Lee qualifies as serial this cross qualifies as serial murderer right now. So then when you arrive at the office. It was right around it was right around 9 p.m. Lights were off, I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, thanks me, thanks Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't, don't know? So she could still be alive? The woman, the women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he, 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 he ruined our mother's life. R ruined? After that, he disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced that she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Huh. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I had to lose my ESP. I feel bad for her. All of all by herself up on that mountain? So, so who was this man who, who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. Back when I was two, apparently, the police were running out of fleet and they are getting desperate. Wait, wait, wait. They didn't use a sp sp spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought... You... thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Huh? The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But... A man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. See? My mother became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. Meep. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Hmm. 4 p 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? <laughs> huh. Uh oh. <laughs> screw you, Maya. Uh, screw you, Maya. I'm going home. <laughs> huh. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you, whether you want me to or not. Huh? Why? Why? Well, 
I can't ban you. Mm. No one's as sad as a person without any friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone had to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Meep! That's so kind of you! Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right! Thank you! Phew. See some out of the last. She looks, she looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you! So trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So... What next? Something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was... I tried to look into a drawer that she got all defensive. There must be something there. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am a bellboy of the establishment at your service, sir. Uh, oh, all right. I just come to deliver a room service, sir. Um, you know where Miss May might be? I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using uh, the er, facility, sir. If you have no need of anything, sir, I'll take my leave, sir. Please stay as long as you like, sir. Enjoy, sir. Uh, yeah. Wait, uh, no, hey. Ugh. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, that's my chance to brown a bit. Ah, oh, oh, I almost forgot, sir. Va? You came, you came back quite. You came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there's a message for her? P please tell her that, Mister White, a blue corp phoned. Uh, all right, sure. Mr. R Mr. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White! That was his name! My sister told me! White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Okay, let's look in here now. Let's look in here now. Now she's gone. And the screwdriver was taken out of the, that half open drawer. It's my chance to see what's inside. Huh? What do we have here? A wiretap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap as the court record. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Oh, she has something like this in her hotel room. There's a story behind all of this. I know it. Alright. 
I'll be using this bit of evidence as in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For for my sake. Okay, this woman's bottom. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, Belba, still there? Uh oh, time to scram. I look forward to tingling with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. Da da da. To be continued. Yes. Well, that was an um um interesting uh thing all right well that's all for today i'm gonna see if i can i'm gonna try to uh go back and forth between phoenix right and uh kingdom hearts so next episode that you'll see on my channel will probably be the Olympus Coliseum battle. What happened there? I guess you'll find out. Never my YouTube done editing it. Alright. Enjoy the randomness. And I'll see you next time.